Hi, I'm Stacy. I want to show you how to start binding your quilt. The first steps are to cut your binding strips. I cut mine at two and a quarter inches. I think that makes a nice tight binding and it's even on both sides and easy to handle. Um, I have prepped this fabric like I've talked to you about in the past with a starch alternative. And then I, as precisely as possible, cut my two and a half inch, two and a quarter inch strips the width of the fabric. So now you want to join these strips on the diagonal so that the seam will be distributed evenly across your binding. You don't want a big lump. This makes it less notable, noticeable that you have had to join strips. So I told you on a previous video that I don't use the grid lines on my mat and I don't for cutting, but I am going to use them to line up my binding. So this is the first strip and I've placed it right sides up uh, along a grid line on my mat. I'm going to take the strip I want to join and place it right side down and line it up at a right angle on the grid with uh, the strip that's right side up. I'm going to pin this. Now I want to sew from this inside corner to this inside corner and that will make my strip straight. You can see that. You have to sew precisely from inside to inside, and it's easier to do if you offset the strips a bit. Um, also, you can leave your selvages on here and offset it, and you don't have to do that extra work of trimming. So I'm gonna mark that inside corner and this one, then lay my ruler on here. Although that seems like a short seam, it's hard to eyeball that and keep it straight. So I've marked that. Now, the way I sew and the way I piece is to, I've set, I'm on a straight stitch. For this particular task, I have my A foot on and I have shortened my stitch length to a two. So I'm gonna lower my needle and the foot raises to the pivot position and I'm just gonna push my project right up to the needle and start sewing. I do have control of the threads and I don't have to back stitch when I do that. And I'm gonna sew on the line, or pretty close to the line. You wanna make sure you come out at the corner. Okay, my stitches. And so I have joined all these strips together and then I'm gonna trim this to a quarter of an inch. I like this little ruler because it's easy to handle. I can do it right at my sewing spot. So I have the quarter inch mark on this short ruler lined up on the line I drew in the seam I sewed, and I'm just gonna cut that off. I'm also gonna go ahead and trim the dog ears. And you can see I've trimmed all the seams on this strip. And I'm gonna go press those open so the uh, bulk will be distributed. I'll press them open like this. And then I'm gonna press the entire length of my binding in half, wrong sides together with the raw edges even. I'm gonna go do that and then I'll be back.